All right, so <clears throat> this is Eric Reed's. Uh, tonight I'm going to be playing uh, Bomb Caddy against the Little River. We will be playing Destiny. Um, uh, this is the first time I think anybody has. Well, there's probably been a couple of people that have done things like this. Um, but uh, I wanted to kind of start doing. Oh, this is an atrocious hand. Um, actually, okay, so this is not good, um, because of a couple reasons. So, the only, not the best start from him either. So, Little River's on Destiny, he's kind of, honestly, like, patented this entire deck. Um, like, his, uh... His deck list, I would say, is... Oh, that's a fucking good draw, too. Um, so, there's an argument, well... So the only thing I would be swooping for is Jirachi. And then I could swoop for Jirachi, uh, Wishing Star, and get something, but like... Okay, I've got Windstorm, so he would have to have, like, another Pokemon, um, Cessation Crystal, Admin, and then some way to get Mew out of the active, and some way to pose a threat for me to want to swoop. So I'm good just passing here. One thing about this deck is that, um, what Bomb Caddy that is, is that... And next turn, I'm going to get to draw a bunch of cards because I've got the, the surprise time machine. Um, one nice thing about Bomb Caddy is that you don't really need to attach energy every single turn. Um, you're kind of content to just hold them, discard them with, uh, <clears throat> with Del Caddy, and um, you don't really need to attach them every single turn. Like here, I didn't get to attach an energy... Um, Destiny is kind of the opposite. Destiny, <clears throat> I found whenever I play Destiny that you almost always want to consistently be attaching energy. <clears throat> um, okay, Special Circuit does make this a little tricky. So, okay, I'm always doing this. I'm always doing this in energy drawing here. Um... That gets me something. Okay. Um, hmm. Okay. So I'm going to do the same thing. We're going to go surprise. What I recently learned, this is kind of stupid, but I recently learned that you can surprise Time Machine and like the wording on this is that you devolve it and then you search for some reason i always thought you couldn't grab the thing you put back but yeah you can surprise delicati and then put it back and then get the same one in case like the rest of them are prized or in your hand or something um anyways so the way that this bomb caddy build works oh nice oh that's really nice is that you are using um delicati and uh, surprise time machine to get repeated uses of this Pokey Power energy draw. Um, and I'm going to use another one right now. So getting, um, getting what's this called, three uh, scrambles in the discard this quickly is very nice. Um, something else to note is... Uh, you don't really want to um, play anything down while you're doing this. You kind of want to keep your hand unrevealed to your opponent. Um, so here I'm going to Cyclone. Uh, Cyclone we play for in this deck. Um, you could go down, but I feel like you would necessarily want to go down like um, only to put in more energy. Like if you wanted to put in another Holland energy or something, or a DRE. Um, we play one Jirachi in this deck. And I'm actually going to get Ditto. So 
Ditto uh, is good in this deck for sure. Um, but the main thing that you want to have with Bomb Caddy, with this variant of Bomb Caddy, is you want to have a lot of basics on the on the bench at all times. Um, the reason why is because we play a whole bunch of swoops, and these swoops we can, if if I play Ditto this turn, the next turn I can swoop the Ditto out for uh, something and evolve it immediately, um, which is not something I could do if I just played it down the next turn and try to swoop it. So whenever you swoop, it retains the fact that it's been benched for a turn, basically retains that knowledge. So in this deck, um, you want to uh, keep a lot of things benched. Even though Ditto is not really doing anything now, and even though it would kind of suck to just swoop it away, because um, it is a useful card. In fact, it does something similar to swoop, but for the discard pile. Um, and, uh, so it is a useful card, but it's also just more useful on the bench. Okay, he's going to warp. Um, interesting. Uh, that's not a bad play. Um, Curse Stone. That's, could be rough. Could be rough. Um, so we're going to wake up here. So, not all is lost by any means. Um... So, let's see. How do I want to do this? Well, I definitely am always using Wishing Star first. Um, probably get this pow. Um, So here's what I'm thinking. I, okay, so I can use Ditto, form variation to Skitty, evolve into Delcaddy, evolve this, bomb. Wait, will that kill? Hold on. What's, did he get put in the energy? No, he doesn't have any energy. So 10, that's 90. That's exactly going to kill this Rayquaza. So I am going to do that. Um, okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to swoop for Voltorb. Evolve. Um, form variation for Skitty. I'm going to Retriever, grab my Delcaddy back. Um, and I can actually just um, do this, even, and draw some cards. Nice. Um, so I can put Magnemite down. I'm going to bomb here. Bring up Delcaddy. So that's 30, 60, 90, 100. And I'm going to go here. Go like this. Um, go like this. Move the energy. Um, probably going to move the multi. Seems like it's going to be useful for him. Um, and then you're going to switch. So we do play four pals. So even though I'm kind of burning them uh, here, it they will be, I will probably find another one. So then after that, we can admin them down to three. Um, and he's going to have a tough time just KOing this Delcaddy outright. Um, and I am playing the one Pokenav in here. Um, and this... Um, I'm actually going to get the DRE, and the reason why I'm going to do that um, so Pokenev is interesting. Uh, I'm going to put this down first, but um, uh, 
and then here we just max energy source so that was a big turn and that's like a lot of what this deck goes for basically is these just big explosive turns um so our next play will depend on what he wants to go for destiny destiny is a really good deck but it can struggle against decks that um like can limit its attackers and by limit its attackers i mean if you're able to discard energies like with er2 if you're able to um do that kind of thing or if you're able to knock them out quickly um, in this case i piled the energy away because i knew if he gets an energy onto this mew then it could be bad um and we've got quite a few options here uh, it might not look like it but um so we're going to be drawing into uh oh strike and run very interesting that i wouldn't not predicting that he can't screechy voice that's part of the reason why i attached tall and energy in the grass is he is not able to screechy voice um which makes a difference here now pal would be really nice um Ooh, interesting. So Skitty, we knew we were going to draw. Um, and actually, since I know that the next card of my deck is um, Time Machine, and I don't want a Time Machine because I'm, it would discard all these energy, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to Elms for Magneton. I've still got the two pals in deck, so let's see what we can do here. Um, and I'm going to energy draw, pitch this cyclone energy. Um, uh, unfortunately, no pal. Although we can get one. We can dig deeper question is do we want to attach the cyclone if we attach the cyclone he's just gonna go to execute which we don't want okay here's what i'm gonna do um i'm gonna swoop out and that's why you always check because i thought i had a skitty but oh yeah i i only put one thing back with the retriever okay i'm gonna just get this um no problem. We are going to throw this giddy down. Master Ball. Um, Delcati EX. You never know. Sometimes sometimes you do crazy stuff with it. Um, I'm actually going to go like this. And retreat. Um, and discard a grass energy. And I'm going to use Magnetic Field. Um, my logic here is I probably am not going to need this next Delcaddy. I already retrievered for one. Um, and so this way, uh, I've just, I, I like my chances better. So I can go for Magnetic Force here um, and knock this out. Now, um, if he knocks out Magneton, then... Um, I am in a fairly, I'm pretty much fine, because I can use Delcaddy to KO anything else. Possible issue is Curse Stone plus Energy. Um, that will let Mew be able to attack Delcaddy, and then that's going to die. Um, however, it, it will put me at a pretty high amount of energy in the discard, um, which is something that could come up, because uh, Delcaddy EX has this upstream attack. Okay, so he is going to Mew. Let's see what he, he goes for here. Okay, so he does go for Exec... And Executor can always one-shot anything I put up. Um, so that is something to keep in mind. Uh, so that was... I don't know if that was his draw or not. He might not have an energy in hand. The fact that he went Mew leads me to suggest that he does not have an energy. Um... 
Stantler being gone honestly helps because it means I don't really have to worry about getting confused unless he retrievers for it. Um, he could... He could tail whip, I guess. Um, also notice his deck has 39 cards in it and ours has 19. He's barely played anything, um, which honestly like helps for situations like this because... If I were to like admin him, then you know all of a sudden um, it's looking pretty good. Um, Latios, interesting. Collect, not where you want to be. Okay, so currently I'm threatening um, only. How much damage is this? 10, 20, 30, 40. So that's seven energy, but. The DRE is um, taking away, so it's really more like, um, it's, it's less than that. Um, it's only 60. So that's not much. Um, okay, well, I'm always going to be using Energy Draw here, and I think I'm going to discard this Grass Energy. Um... Um, that windstorm is nice. I honestly don't see a huge. Is this a? No, I don't see a huge reason not to just start attaching more energy here and waiting. Um, like I can't kill him this turn, or I can't knock this out. Admining our hand away seems like it's bad. That's a lot of cards. I am going to throw this Skitty down. Um, yeah, actually, I'll um, I'll go like this. I shouldn't have done this. I should have um, energy drawn. You always want to make it ambiguous as to what you're drawing into. Um, Voltorb. Uh, I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to use Magnetic for. And I could also discard here, but I don't think it's worth it. I think it, I, there is no... Like, I like all of these cards in my hand. Tauros is good. Delcaddy is good. The energy will be useful. The DRE could be... So I'm just going to use Magnetic Force here. Um, if he does not have an energy, he could be in a bad place. Um, something else to consider is that he has to knock the Delcaddy out, I think. But now his, like, his window for that being good is closing, because if he knocks... So the, the reason why he has to knock the Delcaddy out is because if he just knocks the Magneton out, then the Delcaddy is going to be able to, like, annihilate anything. And he doesn't know that I don't have PAL. Like, he might be operating under the assumption that I have PAL. Um... So I don't I don't know. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have our our magneton yet. Um, that is unfortunate. Um, if he knocks the Delcaddy out, how many energies does that put? That gives us seven energy in the discard, which is quite a bit. Um, the problem with attacking with Delcaddy EX is that you only like after you use your uh, upstream. You re that's all like the gas in the tank. I mean, you don't have, you can't extra energy bomb. You probably don't have any energy in play at that point, really. Okay, he's going to go set. Ooh. Is he going to Delta Circle? He could Special Circuit. Um, he could Special Circuit. How many Windstorms have I played? Played one. This is, um, for him, this is a little bit sp spooky because attaching an energy to this Mew that I have to assume is going to die next turn is definitely, ooh, Warp Point. Interesting. Um, I'm just going to go to this Delcaddy. Um, interesting. So, what? 
I don't fully understand that play. Um, okay, so now he is going to special circuit. Huh. Could Cyclone be useful? Not really. Um... Something you can do with this deck, too, is if I wanted to, I could surprise Time Machine, kill this Delicati, which I could maybe want to do in the future. Um, but right now, that's not what I want to do. Um, I got this Lightning Energy, and I can, um, I'm going to discard it with Energy Draw, because I can get it back with um, Magneton. Um, the Pal actually is useless. The Pal is actually useless because I'm going to kill this Mew EX here. So I'm going to Magnetic Field and discard it, because I want to get this stuff back. Um, and then I'm actually going to attach a Lightning to Delcaddy, and I'm just going to knock him out with Delcaddy. Um, and I'm also going to Windstorm. And I think that that's going to be the end of my turn. I could... Yeah, I'll energy draw again. I'll energy draw one more time. Um, nothing I'm super looking for. Okay, well, that's pretty fucking nice. All right, now I have to attack. Um, you take very long turns with this deck. At least I do. Um, so now he's put into a position where... Um, he has to... Oh, Stevens is a really good find there. And also part of the reason I didn't want to throw Voltorb down. Um, there's not really anything I want to swoop into. I I highly doubt I can bomb. Like, I'm, if, if he can't kill me this turn, uh, I would be a little stunned. Um, and actually, I might have a way to kill him this turn. How many energy are in here? Three? Uh, maybe not. Um, but I have a way to annoy him this turn, potentially. Yeah, I'll show us the Charmaster. I see him in the in the chat quite a bit. I've played him a few times. Um, he's like a a bit of a newer player when it comes to RS to PK. Um, but. He's definitely very enthusiastic about it. Um, so Rayquaza is going to be able to special circuit. Something that's fortunate for us is that um, he hasn't found too many of his stadiums yet, and he hasn't admined us. Um, and a lot of the times, those are what disrupts this deck the most. Um, here, I mean, we've got Tauros, we've got Space Center, we've got Windstorms. So, like... Ooh, choosing to... Okay. Alright, now I unfortunately have to think again. Okay. So currently I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 energies in the discard. Um, seven. If I discard this, that's 8. If I discard this, that's 9. Okay, I think I can kill him here. So, oh wait, yeah, I can just use Constrain. I'm stupid. Okay. So here's what we're doing. Doing this. Retreating to Delcaddy EX. Um, so currently I've got five, six, seven, eight. And now I can just do this. And this is going to be the game. I can even um, surprise Time Machine on this, cancel it, um, and then Energy Draw, doesn't really matter, and then Constrain. 
And as long as I'm hitting these two, it doesn't really matter too much. And now we just use upstream. 120. And so that's the game. Uh, Little River, I think he played that well. He just, it was like a case of, um, it was a case of uh, like the pressure of him got, pressure of the deck was too fast. Um, and I think that it's hard to know because I didn't see his hand, but um, like he's def he's beat me with his deck before many, many, many times. Like he's probably one of the best players of this specific deck uh, in the world. Got to be one of the best in Japan, if nothing else. Um, and uh, I don't think we did any like there might have been a couple of places where like we had a really big hand and we could have discarded more of it somehow with like magneton or maybe um like i might have overcommitted a couple of times by burning my surprise time machines um but i think this was a good demonstration of what this deck can do um the general goal is the same as a lot of delcaddy decks where you're just trying to pump out as much advantage as you can with the energy draw and then retrieve it with electrode and then um you can use magneton as your primary attacker delcaddy as your second attacker and then delcaddy ex a lot of times i have these games where like okay i've taken my quick knockouts um i've piled something up and knocked that out my pals are all turned off all my energy is in the discard i can't bomb again and i just have to kind of um hope that uh hope that i can um use upstream to get a knockout and so that's going to do it for this first video um hopefully the audio and video all recorded okay and um, i'll see y'all in the next one and maybe i will be playing something different well i mean i'm sure i'll be playing something different but i guess we'll have to see all right bye